All right, just taking a quick look at this new EcoFlow Delta 3, Delta 3 Plus. This is a direct replacement for the Delta 2, and there's like huge upgrades here. There's huge improvements, <laughs> you know, which is amazing. It's amazing because the Delta 2 was so good already. So let's talk about everything, everything new that you're going to get, everything that's better. So, yeah, this is kind of the big news here. Third generation LFP cells. So, yeah, the, the ones in the Delta II were good, but now you can get 4,000 cycles, and that is to the 80% capacity. You know, a lot of times you'll see these companies state higher cycles, but then if you look, you know, in the fine print, it says to 70%. So, yeah, this is the real deal, and this is something new that EcoFlow just started doing. They're actually encasing the batteries in a sealed container. So this is inside the power station. So when they say IP65, that's the batteries. That's the battery pack. That's not the power station as a whole. You know, <laughs> you can still get water into the power station and, you know, basically damage the power station, but you won't damage the batteries. So this is just a good idea, isn't it? Because, yeah, if batteries get wet in a short circuit, you could have, that could be a fire risk, right? So this is just extra protection, but still, <laughs> don't get it. Try not to get it wet. And now here's something that's really exciting, especially if you want to use one of these little power stations for home backup during a power outage or emergency, you can actually expand this thing now up to five kilowatt hours. Now, you know, there's only one connection here. So it's one extra battery. That's it that you can connect to this thing so you might be wondering, <laughs> you might be wondering, you know, how the heck can you get up to five kilowatt hours? Because, you know, the main unit here, the Delta Pro or the Delta 3 Plus, you know, is only one kilowatt hour, just like the old Delta 2. <laughs> so how do you get to five? You know, how do you get to a total of five? Well, we'll talk about that here in a second. But the other thing you might want to know is you can actually use, you can actually use some of the older extra batteries here. So, you know, you don't have to go with an all new setup. So they're saying in this case, you could use the old Delta II Max. That would give you an additional, this is an additional two kilowatt hours. That would be a total of three, you know. So if you wanted to, yeah, if you have one of those laying around. And then, of course, too, if you can use the Delta II Max, surely you can use these other ones as well. But, yeah, as I mentioned, the big news is, you can actually go up to five in total if you hook it up to a Delta Pro 3 extra battery. So that's this one. <laughs> that's this big boy. And of course, you know, this thing's designed to be paired up. It's, you know, sized appropriately for the new Delta Pro 3, which is, a, you know, this is a, it's a huge unit, right? I mean, it's over 100 pounds. So as you can imagine, you know, with four kilowatt hours, this thing is actually about 72 pounds, just the battery. But this is awesome that you can use a huge extra battery with this little unit because there's a lot of advantages here, right? Number one is, again, since you only have that one connection, that one extra battery connection, you want to get the most out of it, yes, but also the fact that you only have to hook up one extra battery, right? You only have to deal with one cable going to one extra battery and to be able to have five kilowatt hours with a small portable power station like this is awesome, right? Because yeah, you can use this Delta three plus, you can use this for adventures, camping trips, right? You can just take it with you easily anywhere you go. But then, yeah, if you have a power outage at home, you can just have one of these huge Delta three pro extra batteries, just, sitting around somewhere in your house. You never have to move it, right? And you can just plug in one connection and then have up to five kilowatt hours. That's awesome. Now let's continue with the specs here. So this, the AC charging, this is charging from the wall. This is the one thing that's actually not that different. This is like the, the only thing, <laughs> really. So you have 56 minutes, less than an hour. So it is a little bit faster, but you know, basically it's still around an hour. Now here's the big news. This is a huge improvement. So there's actually two, there's two inputs for solar now, DC. 
it's the same input as the delta two, but there's two of them. So you can double, you can double everything up. So it's 500 watts, 60 volts, 15 amps each. So each. So this is really cool because not only can you just, you know, in theory, do twice as much, you can do up to a thousand watts, you know, 500 times two. So that's cool on its own. But the reason these dual inputs are so awesome is because of the versatility. So in fact, they're showing in this example, yeah, they're showing two different solar panels, aren't they? You have a 400 watt and then you have a 220 watts. And it doesn't matter that these are completely different and completely, they could be completely different voltages. It doesn't matter because you got the two separate MPPT inputs. You just put one into one and one into the other. So this just gives you so many different options, not just from solar, if you want to do two different solar panels, but if you're in a vehicle, especially if you're doing like van life or RV, you can combine car charging into one input and then solar up on your roof into the other inputs. And they did talk about dual charging efficiency. Actually, technically, this should be triple charging, right? because you can do two different DC inputs, plus you can combine those with AC. So now the one thing you wanna note is you can never exceed that 1500 watts. So, you know, it's always 56 minutes is gonna be the fastest you can do it. But if you do have, you know, all of these sources plugged in at the same time, like at your house, you know, you can, in the app, you can pri prioritize solar. And this thing does get the new industrial grade UPS. So this is less than 10 milliseconds. So this was something that was disappointing about the old Delta II, is that it only had this 20 milliseconds UPS. And 20 milliseconds, you know, for a computer, especially like a computer running at load, it's questionable. It's questionable if that would actually work or not. So, you know, 10, actually less than 10 milliseconds. And the upgrades just keep coming. So we get this new quiet fan technology. I know a lot of you guys hate fan noise. Now for me, the, the Delta II has never really been a problem because to me, it only gets loud at high loads. But, you know, maybe you, don't, you just really don't want to hear the fans at all. So <laughs> they're pretty much saying, yeah, nearly silent, about 30 decibels if you're below 600 watts. So, you know, this is, it depends on how much of a load you have as usual, but 30 decibels, you, you, yeah, you're never going to hear that, really. I mean, unless you're in a completely silent, sealed box, <laughs> you know, there's always going to be some ambient noise, wind, you know, rest, wrestling in the, the leaves or whatever, you would never hear 30 decibels. Now, you know, if you increase the load here, like they say, at 1200 watts, it will go up to 40 decibels. So that you will hear, but you're not gonna, it's not gonna be loud, right? You, you kind of get the idea. It's gonna be, you know, the higher the load, the louder it's gonna be, just like the old Delta II. But, you know, for any given load, it's gonna be quieter than what it was. And, you know, the way they're achieving this is they've actually completely, they completely changed the setup here. So there's like one large fan so presumably this is like a high quality fan as well you know good bearings and it just doesn't make a lot of noise and it moves a lot of air whereas the old you know the delta II, the old setup was actually there were three little fans there were three of them so yeah you know three little tiny crappy fans running versus one large higher quality fan guess what this thing's actually smaller than the old delta II as well with all of these new features. Now, what are we talking about? Really, the only dimension that's smaller is the width from the front. So from where the screen is, it's about half an inch narrower, as you can see, 7.8 versus 8.3. All the other dimensions are about the same and the weight is about the same. So, which is not a bad thing because you know this was always one of the lightest in its class. And the other thing that this little graphic points out is that yes you know on the front of the unit now you do get the AC outlets in addition to the USBs are still there as well so 
this is a big improvement because I like to have everything on the front accessible, right? The Delta II, you know, it was all on the back side. Now, you know, the downside is the 12 volt stuff is still on the back. The 12 volt outlet, the socket, and the two little barrel ports, and, you know, all the input ports as well are on the back side. So you are going to still have to leave room to access the back. But hey, at least you can plug stuff in, you know, right into the front. And then lastly, for this new design, I do like it, you know, overall, it's got a really cool modern look to it. I'm just, I'm not totally sold on how they've decided to, you know, paint this thing all silver. I really like that two-tone look of the old model. And I think, you know, they could have still done that with this new design because they still have that same split there. So I threw this thing in the Photoshop, you know, just to see you know, what would it look like kind of with the old color scheme and also get rid of that stupid, I don't like this. I know they're trying to make this thing look like a higher end product, but I really didn't like that little chrome piece they put on the side either. You know, I guess it'll look good in your house, but to me, especially being a small portable product, it should have, it should have still had some rugged look to it. But I do like, you know, I do like that, how the cooling fans are hidden kind of behind the handle and this large screen right that large new screen with just it has like kind of a cool graphic display doesn't it where it kind of shows you it kind of indicates to you how much of the maximum load you are actually inputting or outputting with the, those little level meters on the side of the percentage display so yeah this is just it's a cool product with you know with a lot of great upgrades really especially considering it's only been a couple of years